It's your girl Scotty. We here on Juice Talk TV because I got the juice. Oh me. Juice Talk TV, what to it do with your main man Cool Tape back with another one, man. We got a very, very special guest in the building. The one and only female super saiyan herself. Scotty! Oh me! <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling like <laughs> I feel like the crow. What what is what is he saying? I feel <laughs> the like crow. the crow on me. You so lively, man, though. So we've been, you know, tapping in to you for a while some time now. And I got to say, I must have say, you definitely got the juice. I have to give you that and tell you that live and in person on the show. Because you deserve it. It's only right. I don't know, you know, I know you probably get a lot of compliments. I know you get it. But don't nobody tell you got the juice. No, nobody does. That's <laughs> how I got the sauce. Oh, no, I see, yeah, yeah, But yeah. not the juice. Yeah, so we Midwest, and you got the juice. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know, you've been, you been here for a minute. You've been over here in the Midwest for a minute. You know, we're going to dig deep into that, you know. So, other than that, um, you've been on a lot of platforms, doing your thing for quite some time now. Yeah. And, um, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> um, Thank you. So, for the people who don't know Scotty, you know, just let them know who Scotty is. Scotty um is a demonic i'm kidding no i'm a demonic entity from the pits <laughs> of hell i'm kidding no um uh i'm a rapper <laughs> and i sometimes do um jokes on tiktok <laughs> Yeah, I see that you are uh, heavy on TikTok, and uh, has that kind of like driven your career lately? Like, or um, not lately, but a lot. It has, cause I, cause I forced it to. You feel me? It I, wasn't I'm, a plan. It no, it was definitely a plan. I, mm. I joined TikTok completely <laughs> to take it over and have my my phone successful. Screen. Yeah, and successful. Successful. Yeah. Definitely did that. Um, so. I, <laughs> So how has that been going? Like rolling over into your music, messing with the TikTok. Like, like was it was it like hard to kind of like transition your music into the TikTok, or kind of did it just pick it up? Like how some of these people do, or did the people do it? You know what I mean? Honestly, it was like I did music before I joined TikTok. Okay. And my homegirl, shout out Jenny. Shout out Jenny. She uh basic basically told me like you could get followers every day every on day. TikTok. If Posted. you just post every Posted. day, literally, and this Posted. is like 2020 when it like was still a freaking cosplay app. Pretty much, because everybody's <laughs> putting on shit and doing shit, just not saying nothing. I seen a person sleeping in the bed and just what everybody on this live. We had like 300 thousand viewers. Yeah, no, nah, TikTok used to be crazy, and we used to get away with a lot more shit. But <laughs> fuck community guidelines. But listen. <laughs> uh basically she was just like oh you know build a fan base on there and then start posting music so that's mm -hmm. what i was doing on my old account i had like five hundred eighty thousand followers like mm. craziness and then they took my account wow fuck community guidelines <laughs> <laughs> i know that did it hurt did that hurt you no. bro i wanted to fight somebody but not, luckily, not not like hurt but did it hurt like fan base and when, like no, oh, okay. <laughs> absolutely okay. not. Okay. Like, bro, it's um basically I would like force my following to follow me on like Instagram and other social anything, media. Anything that you was attached to. Because I was always getting like banned and then come back, but wow. then they permanently banned my shit. Wow. So like people already knew what was going on. They was like, damn, you've been gone for like a week. I'm like, oh, I got banned again. And then, <laughs> yeah. So most people that really wanted to tap in with the music kind of like, follow me on other social medias gotcha, and shit gotcha. but definitely it it helped with um like streams because it was like once you get a certain algorithm there on tiktok and then you just throw a song on there and they're like oh shit this is actually fire and then it just blows up oh got you got you so, it picks it up and it's yeah. stuck in there now now everybody doing the sounds and the challenges or whatever got you got you yep. got you so you're from florida correct Raised in Florida. Raised in Florida. I'm sorry. So where are you from then? Let the people know where you're from. 
My peoples is originally from Jersey. That's what there I claim. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Excuse me? Yeah, no, no, no. no. no we, I just message. Yeah, Eddie. Northside. <laughs> Fuck you, Tyler. So how, how was it growing up for you out there? You know, In Florida? No, 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 no. In Jersey. Oh, no. I didn't grow up in... I grew up oh, in... See, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm originally from Jersey, gotcha. raised in Florida. So how was it growing up in Florida? Hot and annoying <laughs> and hot. <laughs> <laughs> hot and annoying and hot and hot annoying and hot and no it was just like you know they it was never um individuality is not really embr- embraced in like miami wow at all it's kind of like follow the yeah. trends if you ain't got dreadlocks you ain't nobody type shit if you don't wear jordans and true religion well that's when i was like if you ain't got the school. wicks and you're not popular you don't got no goals six to the top six to the bottom like you ain't you feel me? Like, you feel me? Yeah, you feel me. <laughs> you, you, you was not like, you don't have the juice. And so you say, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> My dog. <laughs> but, nah, gee, so coming from a place like Jersey and like New York where a lot of like, right. you know, fashion is like challenged all the time. Music is challenged all the time. There like, you go. how can you make something very individually you? There you go. Versus a place where it's, very cult not culty but like clicky you know what i mean it's like very Groupy. clicky yeah type shit it it didn't sit right with a lot of people because i always dress like this and I you always, also say they make you stick out like a sore thumb in a good way no it was a bad i got oh. bullied um but shit. Damn, okay. <laughs> like i always say the same reason i got bullied the same reason why i'm famous now so i don't even care Ugh. Ugh. yeah man because um, i'm gonna get to something you said and i man I had uh, posted it earlier, and it just touched me. I'm like, yeah, man, that was dope. I, I think you saw it, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, moving along. So any siblings? Like, um, are you the only child? Or? I have four brothers on my mama's side, and then You I, do reference that a lot. Yeah, I'm you the hang only. with the guy. All the time. Yeah. I just don't, like, not saying I don't know how to hang out with women, because I do have of women course. that are friends, obviously. Uh, of course. Um, But it's, I guess... Because I just, it's like, I understand them. I have four of them at yeah. home. Like, you get me? I got to interact with them gotcha. all the time. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, I know when a dude is actually being nice or when they're trying to flirt or, like, when they have alternate. Like, I know genuine mm-hmm. people just based on, like, how my brothers move with the women they be with. Like, I know the difference. They'll be like, nah, that's just, you yeah. did. You one of them. If, if, and when people tap into your music and they hear your references and the things you talk about, they will understand why not when you say stuff like that because you be saying some shit like, oh yeah, that's why. Yeah, no. Nah. Like, bro, my mom is like a super tomboy. Like, we don't really have a lot of females in my family gotcha, at all. Gotcha. Like, I got five girl cousins and then like fourteen boy cousins. Gotcha. Like, boys are just predominant in my family, so okay. it's like we all play sports or like you know what i mean like do masculine activities (laughs) right but like in my family it's not a big deal like we just hang out with our brothers and this is what happens so so i want to uh, i want to talk about like school and like how was that for you in school were you like the kid or i want you to tell me what kind of kid you were in school i definitely am like this in real life like if i'm not comfortable i'm not gonna talk like, if I don't have no friends or if I'm not here with, like, people that I fuck with, I'm not going to talk. Mm. Even even now. Like, I, I don't even care. Like, I need to be comfortable in right. order to be, I guess, 100% myself. But, like, when I'm around my friends, oh, yeah, class clown shit. Getting, d- damn near getting kicked out. Okay. You need to shut up. Like, you, you were just loud as fuck in the back of the class. Yeah, I know. I'm one of them. You but, got a lively, a lively personality, so I... I I can see. I can see. I can see. I'm the same nigga since 2004. <laughs> but I was born in 1998. You get like a personality bone five, right? Yeah, or sooner. Yeah. yeah, you feel me? I'm the same nigga since like oh three, oh four. Like that's what it do. That's yeah, what it, it, do. it has not changed. So were you doing music back then as well in school? Uh, or yeah. Like, where were you? Like the things you were doing back then? Um. My entire school experience, I pretty much went to art school. Okay. So I went to like, uh, like they have magnet programs. I don't know if, what you guys call it up here, but it's like school specifically for certain things. Yeah. So 
we have like gifted and talented is what we call them ah gifted and talented okay so it's like basically the same shit like if you're really smart you go to these schools or if you do like visual art yeah yeah yeah, yeah, all that shit so i went to like schools like that and i always was like in art school but it's not it's not victorious i went to like schools in like the hood and shit Mm. and then like some of them are like privileged schools like some of them so it just depends on where i decided to go to school but yeah, it's it's not victorious. I did yeah, not go to a high school you. musical last gotcha. school. And okay. Like, hey! <laughs> you funny <laughs> as hell, dog. You Bro, because when I hell. said I went to art school, they're like, oh, so it was like, like fucking like New York art school? No, it's not like New York. It's Florida art school. It's like you got one class, you go to that bitch, and then you go back to Florida shit. So right. that's basically what it is. Okay, I got you. I, got you. I see you love New York, too. <laughs> bro, I love New York, bro. <laughs> I see that. Um, I got another one for you. I wanted to know, when did you, like, realize that you had the juice? Like, when did you realize, like, okay, I'm doing this music shit, it's, it's working, it's, or it's picking up, like, it's actually getting attention, you know what I mean? Like, when did you know that you really wanted to put your all into this? Mm, that's interesting because I never really thought of it. Um, I would say like, fuck, I don't even know. I just had no choice but for this shit to work. There you go. I there don't even. Go. go ahead. It's like weird because I've been rapping my whole life, like since I was okay. like eight. You feel me? So okay. it's just like okay, okay. It's it's a, a second talent. My first love was art, but like music would be my like second love. You feel gotcha. me? Gotcha. But it's like, yeah, I never really. I didn't think I was going to get this far with it, but it was never like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to just do this for play play. Like, it was never that. Like For sure, for sure. It was never that. That's you. Since this, the it's, first it's, song. This is going to be it. Oh, since the first song. <laughs> since the first it. song. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going to be a rapper again. <laughs> That's for sure. So, um, what about inspirations and idols? Because you got a unique style. Like, no, like, no other. You yeah. talking about clothing wise or are we talking about music? Overall. <laughs> Overall, I mean, run it down to us. I mean, um, you know, um, I would say like musically, probably Kent, not probably, it is Kendrick Lamar, got you, Tyler the Creator, got Schoolboy you. Fucking Q. People were sleeping on Schoolboy back in the day, man. I ain't like that, man. I love Schoolboy Q, but a lot of people was so wrapped up around, you know, Abso, J Rock, and Kendrick. I love them too. But Schoolboy Q had bro, that shit, listen, bro. Listen, Schoolboy Q, one of my favorite people out of TDE, besides Isaiah Rashad. That's like my favorite. Rapper. Isaiah Rashad, too, type two though. But yeah, nah, like I, I hate that I'm, I'm exposing myself. Most of my songs are modeled after Schoolboy Q songs. Wow. I know it's, it doesn't sound. Like I'm it. like, okay, where that come from? Because I don't hear it. But okay, <laughs> shit, okay. Well, that's that's the great thing about inspiration. That's what's um, up. yeah, nah, literally, like the way he story tells. Definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. I On me, that. and then like having like those memorable fucking ad libs, <laughs> like, just being grimy, but also having like that oh, bounce man. to it. Oh, it's man. like you could probably say the same thing about my. Yes, music. man, because your visual aesthetics are so beep beastie, man. Like <laughs> dog, like you Bro. paint a pi- a vivid picture like no other. Even if people don't understand the aesthetics, they will watch it again to to try to hope to understand. Facts. I'm still trying to understand. <laughs> well, now you understand. No, but gee, like, I, I, I literally like to make music that story tells and like be able to paint vivid pictures mm. with the art, with the videos, gotcha. with everything. It's just like, it's a very creative way that I do things. And it may not be very, oh, this is what it is. But that's kind of how I feel about Schoolboy Q. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of his shit's mad artsy. You feel me? Like super, super, like, like super artsy. And sometimes you gotta watch it uh, like, a few times like, back to when, get what's going on. Not to cut you off, when Collard Greens came out, uh, and that's that's the one featuring Kendrick, correct? Yeah. Td ting ting. Mm-hmm. Like everything. It, it, it just it, it's like whoa, what is this? Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Everything to beat. And it, it was just like man, there's so much going on. You gotta love it. Yeah. You had to love it. He was artsy, like you just said. Like, Literally. Same thing with, like, Tyler. Like, Tyler was definitely one of those people where it's, like, he's so unique in what he does, and that just made me not afraid to just be Scotty. Now, when you say that, 
I can um, see and feel inspiration from that. In a, in a good way, you know what I mean? No, I because, like you know, when I look at Tyler, when I see Tyler, he is another one that's like no other. Very standout-ish and, and, and very genuine from, from what it looks like. I never met him. Yeah, You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it, it looks like he will, you know, really give you some information to help you out. Whatever the case may be, you know, music-wise or style-wise or whatever. You yeah, know what literally. I, mean? so like, I definitely go. mess with him. So what's, what's, what's one of your favorite uh, title track? Uh, albums, I should say. Albums? Oh, That's a tough you one for you. Bro, you gotta be like, fuck, Wolf, bro. Ooh. That's, Whoa. that's like one of the first joints, ain't it? Yeah, bro, I've been rocking with Tyler since he, he since he dropped. Since oh, the Dinosaur. That, yeah. Dinosaur EP. Stop. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Tyler, if you ever see this. Tyler, if you see this. I need like a whole, I need, I <laughs> need a feature, I need a beat, I need a goddamn direct <laughs> my shit. I need everything. Shout that's out to Tyler. Up, man. That's what's up, man. So recently you have been on the radar with a dope 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 freestyle man yeah <laughs> what'd you say you just say come up brother i'm the ellie yeah i see one <laughs> i was like bar no and motherfuckers be saying oh i don't hear the schoolboy q all right yeah all right. okay my bad see that's what i'm saying uh, you don't realize it because it sounds so fire my bad it's, it's, my bad it's, 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 i thought you was trying to it's no point intended to me or what? Bro, you definitely did that. Oh, um, definitely shocked me because you know a lot of people see the honor rate of freestyles, and then you see a lot of upcoming people. You see a lot of famous people, a lot of big people, and when I saw that with you on there, I was like, let's go. Let's go, man. A lot of dope comments. A lot of man, you really did that. Um, so it brings me to my question, like, that was a freestyle, correct? Yeah. Okay. And so, like, what's what's the process for a person like Scotty to get in mode like that? Because you were definitely in mode. Okay. I say freestyle like there's no topic. Okay. Still. I, mean, well, I, ain't, I ain't saying it got to be off the dome, but, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, Like, I pretty much, bro... I don't know. I just it's just easy to rap about me. Mm, like mm. I'll always have content because I'm rapping about myself. Like people fuck up when they want to rap about shit that they don't go through or they don't do or like you'll see like you can see it. You can see it. You can hear it. Trust me. Look, I man, I'm from the Midwest. So you ain't gotta tell us. <laughs> Bro, I said uh, talk. I was. I forgot how that shit goes. I was like smoking Molly. People were like, you can't smoke you, Molly. You, you said that in what? Oh, what track was that? Anyway, but yeah, I heard no, it. No, it I was on the on the radar shit. Yeah, said, yeah, oh yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I said smoking Molly, and they're like, you can't smoke Molly. What the fuck is you talking about? I was like, cuz I'm on y'all. Don't you be even saying know. some. You be saying a lot of shit that people. Bro, they smoke Molly in Miami. Like that's a thing. Do you? Because I think you said something about smoking dope, and I think people actually took it the like literally the wrong way. Did, I don't smoking know if dope, fucking when I barely turn fifteen. Yeah, that you see was what I'm me. Saying? But I was like, smell a Molly smoke outside so the window. Them, but see, yeah. they don't get that because exactly. a lot of places they don't smoke Molly. Exactly. You own that. I, from all the places I've been to so far, Miami it. is the only place that I've ever seen anyone smoke Molly. Yeah, right? up in the Midwest, they they pop Molly. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Ours is like a fucked up vert. I don't know what it is. I can't tell you what it is. You can't they call, tell you. I can't they call tell it you. Molly. That's okay. Quotation marks. Okay, okay. okay. Don't okay. know what it is. It's probably like some kind of form of like math. Mix a shit. mixture. I don't fucking know. So another thing that that caught my attention with you, and that was very interesting. I, we've noticed that you have not a blue check mark. On your Instagram, I don't, I don't have Twitter, so I don't know if you. No, no, no let me just let me. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let, go ahead. It's your show. Go, because Instagram, <laughs> Instagram, cuh. What do I have to do, cuh? What, like, what? Do, I'm on the New York Times. What do I have to do, cuh? That's it. That's the whole you, message. You know what you gotta do, cuz. <laughs> What I gotta you do? You gotta pay that fifteen and I, I do not pay that shit. I do not, bro. I refuse. I'm taking a step. 
I, 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 I kind of figured that, which brings me that I'm like, you know, she got a strong fan base. They fucking with her. They rocking with her. She got plenty of accolades. She on this. She on that. She on, you know, around the world. Why her? Where her check mark? Do they want? Where to, is my? They want you to spend your hard earned money on that. I'm not paying fifteen a month for a fucking check mark. I know. You better not. I'm not. If y'all ever see me with a blue check mark, just know they gave it to me because I'm not paying for that. I'm going on the record. The, I'm not paying for that. It, 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 to me, it kind of fucked up the people that's been actually like back in the day when you had to work hard for that shit. Yeah, and motherfuckers nah. was busting their ass to get certain accolades and shit like that. Like that's real. And now you can just buy the shit. It don't even. It's worthless now. It's it's to me. To I, I'm sorry to anybody that's just purchased theirs. <laughs> <laughs> but I am not, and I ain't, you know. But people like Scotty that's been working in, in me, that's been working hard, like we want to earn ours. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to pay that either. Yeah, and nah. that's too much. Literally, not nah, fifteen dollars. Um, what is it? A month? Some shit like that. Bro, that shit fifteen times twelve. <laughs> <laughs> that shit needs to be two dollars. You can buy that it now. Is a, that is a hundred and sixty-five dollars a year for a fucking check mark. To say, to say that you're verified. About what now? Now about what? Because if if a person with three hundred followers or whatever can be or two pictures on that shit can be verified. I lied. It's one eighty. But yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just it's, had to do the math okay. real quick. Sting. <laughs> that's a that's spending on Netflix. Fuck. Hey man. The hell. Yeah. So I, you know, it's it's. I, I noticed that, like I was saying, you got a strong fan base. You don't need that. So I just wanted to know how you felt about that. Now, do you even still want it now? Like, do I still do want it, it? Do you even care for it now? Yes. Oh, Dude, shit. Why okay. the fuck do I have my check mark? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Hell yeah. Girl. Man, give her her check mark. She, she deserved that shit. Stop playing, man. Mm-hmm. For real. All right. Moving along. <laughs> Let's talk rolling loud, man. You been there, what? Three? Seven. Seven. Oh. Mm-mm. Damn. <laughs> Seven times, dog. I'm tired. You tired, <laughs> man. Going crazy. Where her check mark is? Where is my fucking check mark? I don't man? know nobody. Me personally, I don't know nobody from Milwaukee that's been in Rolling Loud several times. Where is my check mark, <laughs> I'm tired. Like I am dist- I'm visibly distressed. Man, that's weak, man. Um, how how were the how were those several experiences and leading up to the, the previous experience in Rolling Loud? It's man. always stressful as shit. For real? I was not expecting you to say that. I want I want to fight everyone every time I have a Rolling Loud. Everybody want to see you all the time and pulling you. Out. No, it's just it's all it's a lot of preparation because I mean, like if you watched any of my performances, I have. I I take pride into crafting something that's good, you, you innovative. Yep. Yep. You know, a lot of like last minute shit be in the works, mm. trying to practice and mm. make sure shit is on point. And 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 I try my best with what I got. And, and it always comes out being like a pretty like good performance. I ain't gonna lie, but it comes with a lot of stress when you 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 seek perfection. I got you. I got you. So, what's some of the craziest things that happened to you, or as you've seen since you've been in these rolling out events? Craziest things. Yeah. Um, I was in rolling loud New York, and someone recognized me and started crying. Wow. Shouts out to that girl. I hope like you have a great life because. Wow. I don't know. I, I don't know why. She was just like, I'm such a big fan. And started crying. And I was like, do you want a hug, gang? Like, I don't That's know what to up, do. But, up. yeah, that was one. Um, what was another one? Um, I think someone got his ass beat for, like, <laughs> stealing someone's phone. Oh, in the shit. mosh pit. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I don't know. Dog, everybody jumping around. You said, you ain't. Yeah, no, I mean, oh, like, what the I mean, very easy if like, you think about it. Yeah, like, or it fell. You know what I mean? Like, you how picked, you gonna feel if everybody's punching? Like, that's true. No, that's true. Grab that shit. That's true. Or it fell, he picked it up and said, Oh, me. <laughs> you feel know? me? And yeah. they started fighting. Um, What was another one? I'm trying to think of like the craziest interactions. Oh, um, Young M.A.'s chain is ridiculous. They, oh, you seen it like up close and per- that yeah, can- like Yee-haw. yeah, <laughs> y'all niggas' chains is not real. I'm I'm at this point like I done seen the real ones. Y'all shit is fake. I know. Like y'all can y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even pee. 
Why is my face? Bro, I can say this. My shit fake. I don't give a fuck, nigga. What? I'm not even going to sit here and flex like my shit real, bro. After I saw that, no. No, ain't no way. Ain't no way, though. Ain't no, I ain't, that's, a, that's a whole nother. We can get, we can go all day in that shit. I ain't going to lie to you. Bro, also, cra- speaking of jewelry, Kendrick Lamar's wreath, the shit he got from Tiffany oh, and Co. Oh, God. Nah, have you seen it in person? No. I am literally got to be over 200 feet away from this man, bro. I'm close to the stage, but I'm way in the back. You feel me? Like, I'm on the side of the stage, but I'm way in the back. You feel me? So I'm not, like, close, close. But I can see Kendrick kind of from the stage. I can see the crown, bro. That shit glistening. Glistening, bro. (laughs) I ain't never seen no diamond shine like that. Oh, somebody on a nigga head, cuz. I'm like... I want that money. That's <laughs> hey, it's gonna, it's gonna come, man. It's gonna get there. How am I being blinded from two hundred feet away? She that's said, crazy. Bling money. blow. <laughs> that's what. Gu- that. That's what Gucci man meant. Bling blow, burr. Burr. <laughs> that man had the burr on burr. his head. Stop playing on his head. <laughs> <laughs> on his head, cause I ain't never seen a nigga glee like that. That's crazy. And that was at Rolling Loud. That was at Rolling Loud. That's what's up, man. So you've been there several times, seen some craziest things, and that was some of the craziest things, like the fan thing. That was the craziest thing that happened with you so far with the fans. Like, oh yeah. Since, since you've been in your career, like what's the craziest thing that happened to you as for? <gasps> crazy work. Um, I was doing. Coincidentally, this is the uh, show that um, I met the people from Rolling Loud. And okay. That's how I got plugged in. Gotcha. But I was at a show, R.P. Kill Awful, um, but we were doing a memorial show for him. And basically, I was performing, and a riot breaks out while there's a mosh pit going. So there's literally a brawl, and then, like... People enjoying themselves. Yeah, and I'm, like, low-key, like, yo, like, we getting lit. And I'm, like, wait a minute. Are they fighting, girl? Oh, <laughs> so you had to pull a Travis Scott. Bro. You had to stop even, the show. I, oh, no, he they, oh, he the cops the ca- came in and stopped that bitch. They said, nope, give me the mic. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then uh, the next day, yeah, yeah they were lying me up. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Okay. So, I mean, it, what we thought was a I, bad night. I guess night. that's what's up. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I just thought about it. Yeah, so. It was fucked up in the moment. Right. But what came after that was like, whoa, shit just happened. Like, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, man, you're here in the Midwest, man. you linking up with everybody, man. You're working. You're here in Juice Talk Studios, man. And you released a track with Brother, Brother, Aoli. I actually dropped two songs. Oh. It came in a two-pack. If y'all look it up on, like, anything, it comes in a two-pack. So, there's a bonus song if y'all didn't know. I'm glad I, I, cause I didn't know. So, thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. But, so, how was that, man? How did that even link up, man? That's what's up. Man. No, I've been fucked with AOA. Crazy thing. So, okay. I And the track is Super Throw. I'm sorry. Super, super Throw. throw. Super throw. You <laughs> was getting it, though. You was getting it. Though. No, I'm how to do you know how to do that? You're not even from the Midwest. I, I, I learned how to dance, um, the low end shit from TikTok. Three months before I moved here, ironically, I was not expecting to ever move here in my life. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. I was fucking with y'all before I even got here, That's so y'all can't up, even man. say I'm a fake fan. No, nah. no, man, she came to Juice Talk Studio. What you saying, man? I'm so, so, at so, it. so, how, how was that, man? Linking up with Aole like that, man. Crazy thing. So, like I was saying, I I follow uh, Milwaukee music. music, right? Okay, right. You feel me? So. I was on the the Welcome to Milwaukee. Oh, okay. <laughs> in town. Bro, All right. So I'm at a show with, I think it was Run Along Forever. Yeah, it was Run Along Forever. Run Along, yep. And I hear Smack in Town. I'm like, this nigga here? <laughs> Wait, where he at? And they're like, bro, it's the dude with the flower hat. Da-da-da. I'm like, cuh. But he left before I got to like link with him, bro. I forgot what it was, bro. Oh, yeah, no. I had a clip of me dancing to Smackin' Town in, like, behind, like, the... 
Damn. Like, I wasn't near the crowd, but I was, like, behind there. You always behind something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind, <laughs> behind the scene. <laughs> but, no. So, I was dancing to that bit. He was, like, I had followed him afterwards, and he followed me back, and he saw it on my story. He's, like, bro, send me that clip. Da, da, da. And then, like, after that, like, we just was, like, That's we got to work. Up, man. That's what's up, man. Shouts out to Lee, man. Shout out to y'all, both of y'all, man. Shout out to well, both me. of y'all, man. <laughs> Certified, Donnie Ying, everybody, well, man. You familiar with Donnie, Donnie Ying? And uh, wait, I think Donnie Ying, yeah. he, he be the Certified Trapper. He got the dreadlocks, too, with the golds and stuff. But they I don't good. know. I know Certified. I know JP. I know Maya P. Yeah, I know okay, okay. fucking Aole. Yeah. I know Run Along Forever. Run Along Forever. Yeah, um, yeah. Fucking I'm missing somebody. It's a lot of us. We, it's, it's, a lot. it's a lot of me. It's a lot of Milwaukee it's a, it's talent. A lot of it's a lot of Milwaukee talent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of them, man. And you just dropped something today. One take. How did you know? How did that come about? How you feel about that release? You just released it like eight hours ago. Yeah. No, nah, I've been holding that bitch for like a year. It, I recorded it in like October of last year, and I've been oh, trying shit. to get it dropped. Oh wow. So okay. Long. Damn. What what took so long? The, the visual fire too, to, to be honest. Thank, thank you. The visual, thank you. that's you all creeping on the side, shit. Yeah, it was, it was supposed to be Halloween vibes, but you know. You suggest I don't care. I'm, I, I don't give a fuck. That shit hard, and I'm dropping that hole. It is hard, hole. though. It is hard, though. Fuck you, me. <laughs> it is hard. But though. yeah, no, nah, um, it's just the powers that be was just not letting, letting that uh drop. But. Okay. Scotty is free, so mm. Scotty is going to be dropping every fucking month. That's what's up. Give us that Scotty. I, us. And I and I mean that. I'm dropping every month. Y'all was like, damn, Scotty don't drop shit. Scotty don't. She drink, makes the most fire songs, but she don't drop. Giving her snippets got, and shit. Get, yeah. Mm. I'm a snippet god. Bro. Giving a snippet. I'm like, oh, I feel like. I feel like Cardi sometimes. <laughs> Just holding music. Man, that ain't Cardi, boy. Cause yeah, boy. Preview a whole goddamn That's album. a whole other... We're going to have to bring you back for another conversation. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. But, um... So, you know, I'm on the gram scrolling. The gram. On your page. And I saw an interesting post. It caught my attention. And I had to bring it up. What did I do? You didn't do anything. Cause you always think you did something. And when anything you do is going to be great. So chill. You good. But this post has caught my attention. I'm like, mm, I got to ask you about this. So the post was, it was just a picture of you. You know, you just took a nice picture. And you quote, I quote, you quote. <clears throat> Not the... <laughs> Not the, no, the, uh, the, the breath. No, All you right, said, uh, one day I'll be able to celebrate Mother's Day. <laughs> For now. But for now, I'm finna run this bag up. Oh my god, bro. I'm your auntie. <laughs> I'm your auntie. That's what she said. I'm your auntie Scotty. That's what she said. I'm the man. rich so, auntie, bro. I'm trying to be the rich auntie. So that's what, that's what's up, man. So um Yeah, I don't got no kids. I know, obviously. <laughs> Clearly, right? Just up and move to the Midwest. Like no responsibilities whatsoever. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely want like kids. Okay. I, I used to want like three, and then I was like, damn, kids cost a lot of money. And then I was like, maybe one, but then they'll be spoiled. So I just, I just, yeah, two. <laughs> that's what, <laughs> yeah, for two, you get a few more. No, I'm just no. messing with you. I'm just messing with you. No, but you know, eventually, but you know, continue to work and success and do your thing. It's going to come. It's going to come. It just, it, it was just, it just, you know, I just had, I thought it would be funny if I actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, nah, bro. I just be coming up with crazy captions, bro. I don't even know. I'll be thinking of bullshit. I got I to gotta follow you on Twitter, dude. I got to, we got to make a Twitter. Don't. <laughs> we got to make a Twitter. You probably be going bro, crazy. Bro, my threads and my Twitter, bro. Don't. Speaking of threads, you got threads now? I do have threads. Oh, that's, we're going to use threads, then. Gonna... As soon as I found out there was another social media. Do say, ping. Yeah. They got me. Now you go, now you need a check mark on there. See, you be going chasing these check marks. Fuck that. You got a blue check in real life. I do have a blue check in real life. I feel like I got a blue check. I'm a walking blue check. That's what I was talking about. You know what I mean? Bars. Bars. <laughs> so, have you ever been like, just piggybacking off the, mo the mother thing, you know. Have you ever been in like a serious relationship before or? Yes. Oh. I'm only in serious relationships because I'm a Capricorn and I'm a dumbass. That's why we click. 
<laughs> I knew it was something. In December? Yes. 22nd. 29th. That's crazy. I That's on my cousin's birthday. I knew it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. But I knew it was a reason why we clicked, man. Look, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. That's crazy. My Capricorn sister. Cat baby. On me. Yeah, that's what you do. Um, so you have had nothing but serious relationships. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I I wish I would have enjoyed my high school and college and and early twenties. But like I yeah. My thing is is that when I get a boyfriend I'll be trying to marry them. Oh, that's of, of course. Cause I'm a Capricorn, bro. Why not? You feel me? I dated my first relationship was four years. The second one was three, and then the, the last one was like, we talked for a year and then dated for a year. So like, I would count that as two. Okay, my Capricorn sister. <sighs> I love it. I've been single for a year. This is the first year I've been single since. But you busy? You moving around? They they can't. They probably they can't even probably keep up with your lifestyle right now. <sighs> See, you know, this is why I don't date rappers anymore. <laughs> there you go. See, there you go. Because, cause, you know, you would think they, uh, we all understand. Would, and yeah, like, no. <clears throat> they don't. Where you at? At, at the food. studio. Where the fuck you think I'm shoot at? the video. You got my location. Did you shoot your video today? No. Bro, no, literally, <laughs> did you record your song today? Fuck. <laughs> no, for real, man. So, nothing but some serious. So, right now, it's out of the question. You're just working. Yeah. Working in your bag, doing your thing. Out of the question, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but but definitely no. I, I I have yet to to got that text message. Okay. It's like one text message away, okay. and then I'm back back on it. But no, it's just like you feel me. Okay, I feel you. I Tears. Feel you. I got you. <laughs> All right, I got a few more before we get out of here. Um. I want to know, do you feel that female artists get the recognition and the looks that they deserve or that they feel that they should in the music game or anything that you guys do? This is a loaded question. I'm sorry. It, no, because it's like I am not trying to rain on anyone's parade. I think that it's wonderful that we have a lot of <clears throat> female artists that are out here doing crazy shit. They're getting their recognition. But I can't help but as a black woman feel that black women are being over sexualized mm. and they're being portrayed as we always have been in the course of history if we do our research. Mm. Not trying to be that woke person, but it just seems very like particular. I use the word aware now because they don't aware. Yeah, they, woke they, as fuck. Yeah, they well, they <laughs> messed that shit all the way up. Like I hate to be that person, but it's like cuz uh, like I feel like yes. I don't care about people talking about whatever they want in music. But then there's women that, you know, make different types of music that don't get the same amount of shine gotcha. because they're not over-sexualizing themselves <clears throat> gotcha. to gotcha. get in the same spots. And that's where I'm like, there's a, still an inequality because dudes can be, you can be Playboy Cardi, mm. but in the same universe, y'all have Playboy Cardi, mm. fucking Moneybag Yo, mm. Kid Cudi mm -hmm. and fucking like Jay. Jay Z, right? Like you just it's just so many different types of rap that there's males in and we're always being subjected to this one image and sound. Exactly. And I don't like that. And that's where you changing the game. That's where you help change the game. On me. On you. So before we get out of here <clears throat> any encouraging words for upcoming artists that's trying to find a lane that's trying to find a sound that don't know what don't know where to start you know what i mean that's 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 really trying to figure it out but that's watching you or 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 or, or uh, uh, you're their idol you know potentially you know what i mean two things never take no for an answer mm. and also this is what i'm living by right now Whatever is for you will come. Whatever is not will not. Mm. You cannot force anything. Like, yes, I would like to be fucking a million, six million followers up and all that other shit. But also, I'm on the New York Times right now. Mm. So am I really complaining about, like, you get what I mean? Can't. It's just, you can't get <clears throat> caught up 
in so much shit that you don't have. There you go. You have to appreciate the things that you do have because a lot of the times you overlook those things chasing other things. And this is why I came up with that saying, like, bro, whatever is for you will come. Whatever is not will not. And you cannot stress the things that are not for you. Mm -hmm. Or, like, if you feel like you missed an opportunity, it's not a missed opportunity. Just create another one. Dope. You know what I mean? Dope, 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 man. Thank you so much, Scott. Yeah, man, this has been such a pleasure. Our words can't even explain how me and my wife probably feel about this interview. It's great. You're doing great things, man. We really appreciate you taking your time here in the Midwest. How long are you going to be here, actually? Shit. I, if you don't mind me. I asking. genuinely don't know. Okay. I'm supposed to be flying out to New York. Okay. I don't know. We'll be out <laughs> here for... Till further notice. Okay. <laughs> man, with that being said, man, there y'all have it. The one and only Scotty, man. Y'all already know, man. Check her out. Dropping fire, fire, fire content. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, everything, man. Let the people know where they can find you at. Damn, oh. I just said it. <laughs> I did the job for you. I'm over here fucking dancing <laughs> and shit. Listen. Now that's my turn. Um, I mean, but listen. So, uh, you can find me at Illuminati Scotty. That's why I made that joke earlier. It's a joke. I promise. <laughs> so is the username. But Illuminati Scotty, S-K-O-D-I. We don't spell it with the Y, because the Y was mid. And you can find me on every single streaming platform. One take is out now. Go stream that. I've been holding it for a long time. I want you guys to go enjoy it. Because I did. It's fire, man. Even though it's supposed to be a Halloween theme. You know. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Halloween is two months. That's my favorite holiday. No, she... That's why we click. Bro, Capricorn Come on, shit. Man. Capricorn shit. This is meant to happen. Ooh. Okay. There you have it, man. The only one, Scotty. Scotty too hot, man. Juice Talk TV. I am cool, Tay. We out. Ah. <laughs> Over here doing opium poses.